Hello there and welcome to World of Tanks with Ungainly Titan. We're here on Liberty Falls and I'm in the T67. Um, Liberty Falls is a map I don't get to see too often. And it's not a map that I would consider myself to be anyway expert in. Um, I have found that the most successful corridor advance really is down on the 1-2 line. Though I reckon it's probably better as a medium tank corridor. Um, the main reason I would say that is because it's just kind of far away from the spawn locations. Now, I just came up here purely speculatively on the basis that it might be a good position to snipe uh, enemy tanks that might come along the highway or through the middle or possibly even along the northern edge of the map. So the first customer has made his appearance now, it's the DW2, so I'm going to have real trouble penetrating the DW2 um, with a T67 of this kind of range, especially since he's actually pretty effective at hiding behind the rocks. On the other hand, I'm picking up spotting damage like nobody's business um, from various people, other people shooting at him, including the artillery there, which kind of finished him off. So now more people are arriving and I just there's a medium two Amorax okay Ripper don't have a clean shot Hetzer don't have a clean shot but the chunks of three behind them I do um, again the shots are gonna lob in on top of the Churchill three so it's gonna be um, probably one and three shots might um, penetrate but he's at the limit of my view range. That, um, yeah, there's more. He's giving me another opportunity, but, um, front of a Churchill 3 is pretty, um, formidable. And on the other hand, like I said, I'm picking up spotting damage. That heavy tank is in the low ground, which is another good corridor of advance, but it really requires fairly well armored tanks. Now, the enemy are making a fairly strong push across the northern edge. And I'm getting some flanking shots uh, into them from here. Though I may have to push out a little bit further. Um, there are intermittent gaps and there's a lot of foliage so it takes a little bit of fiddling around to figure out where exactly uh, I'm getting. I can see them. So the DW2, um, or there's another DW2, has um, survived. Now the enemy have actually been completely annihilated. There's only f five enemy tanks left. So I think I've done as much as I can from here. And I decided, right, there's a heavy tank down there along the um, the one line. And, um, or oh, sorry, the nine line. And I might get an opportunity to shoot at him if I don't capsize my tank or do something like that. So I'm going to come down here. Uh, we're pushing across the... Um, we've pushed along the 1-2 line and we're actually into the enemy base. Artillery is about to expire and that OI experimental is actually facing allied tanks um, towards his own base. So he's got his back turned to me. Which is an excellent opportunity for me to uh, do more damage. Now yeah, that was a rather suicide move by that Allied Heavy Tank. But he'd have been better off if he actually just turned his turret and kept his back turned to me and just angled the rear of his tank. Um, the act of turning that tank just gave me the opportunity to annihilate him. And that was a load of damage that um, I wouldn't otherwise have gotten. So the final result, that gets me over a thousand points of damage, 440 assisted damage, second class mastery. So overall, a reasonable enough result, and we came third by experience, and I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you again soon.